In today's lecture, we are going to study the another class of phylum Orthopoda. class is arachnida in this arachnida class we have several organisms like scorpions and spiders the examples are scorpion and spider The general characteristics in the particular class is organisms divisible their body into two main structures which is the cephalothorax and abdomen. Body is divided or divisible into cephalothorax. and abdomen these organisms are mostly terrestrial and they show these two segmentation or two separation in the body which is the cephalothorax the cephalothorax is the union of thorax and head region and the abdomen abdomen is the last part in a scorpion it is elongated and in spider it is very much reducible let's take another characteristics they have four pairs of walking legs four pairs of walking legs and the thoracic region okay at thoracic region also one pair of chelicerae one pair of chelicerae the chelicerae is the poisonous structure in spiders and it is only helpful structure for the feeding purpose in the scorpion and one pair of one pair of Pedipalp. The pedipalp is helpful in reproductive purpose and it is also helpful in feeding purpose. Another system uh, like digestive system, then respiratory systems are well developed and they are similar as we have seen in the previous classes. Respiration is by tracheal system. and book lung the excretion excretion is taking place by malpigian tubules as well as there are some structures which is present in this both organisms these are the coxal glands the coxal glands are helpful to excrete out the their waste product
these are the important characters other characters are same as like the arthropoda phylum okay then we have to study the examples of this particular organisms now we have to study the examples of class arachnida the first example is scorpion and second is the spider scorpion has elongated cephalothorax as well as elongated abdomen cephalo thorax and abdomen is elongated elongated okay their abdomen possesses a poisonous sting has a poisonous sting at posterior end carrying poisonous sting at the posterior end they have one pair of antenna one pair of reduced antenna another structure it is important in this example the scorpion in which female is a larger than male and she eat the male after the copulation means as the copulation occurs female is very hungry she eat the male and she carry their eggs there is the parental gear that carries eggs uh, in up to hatching after hatching she leaves their uh, young ones freely living sometimes some female or some another females can eat the young ones of another female means this condition is called as cannibalism cannibalism means eating the own kind of organisms or self organism swatacha organism la ani this is called as cannibalism okay another example is the spider the abdomen and thorax is very reduced it's not very elongated abdomen is abdomen is reduced the their chelicerae are the poisonous chelicerae are poisonous in spiders they help in food capturing and defense or offense mechanism and the structure they have they have spinnerets spinnerets the spinnerets are the web secreting gland or in a slime structure secreting gland which is useful in spin the webs <coughs> web 
waving is occurring in the spirals. In this class, antennas are absent. Antennas are absent in the spirals. So, this is all about the class Arachnida. Next class is class Merostomata. The class Merostomata is another class in which example is the Limulus. Or it is also called as King Crab. Or horse shoe crab. King crab or horseshoe crab because its body is looking like the horseshoe and its carapace is horseshoe like. Okay. This is a larger organism. It is aquatic in habitat. Its body is also divided into cephalothorax and abdomen. Body is divided into cephalothorax and abdomen. It has Five pairs of walking legs and one pair of chelicera. One pair of chelicera at the cephalothoracic region and Long tension, long tension at the blood. Blood is blue color. It has presence of copper. Is present. It is called as hemocyanin. The pigment hemocyanin is present in their blood, which is blue color. So this blood is blue in color. Okay. So this is all about phylum Orthopoda. We have completed the all classes. Now in next lecture we will start another phylum. Fine, Muruska.